How's it going, my peace? This is the prediction game video for John Cena versus Dolph Ziggler in a ladder match with Dolph Ziggler's Money in the Bank briefcase on the line. It's a match you're going to see this Sunday at CLC. In this video, I'll go into more detail on my prediction. And I think John Cena is going to win this matchup. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can click that like button. And I'm out. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. My prediction is not John Cena anyways. I'm actually predicting Dolph Ziggler to win this matchup. But uh, before I go you know, into my reasons why I think Dolph Ziggler is going to win this matchup, let's go over what happened the past couple of weeks. How this matchup came about. How do we have this matchup. And how did, how did this all start and all that good stuff. So... It really all started when Vicky Guerrero started accusing AJ of um, having like an affair or whatever with John Cena. And then eventually, you know, when Vicky's involved, usually Dolph Ziggler's involved too. So Dolph Ziggler started getting involved and also accusing AJ and John Cena. Especially getting in John Cena's face and stuff like that. Eventually John Cena gets mad and... <laughs> Dolph Ziggler starts attacking John Cena or whatever. By the way, in this matchup, every single time I went for this taunt. By the way, this taunt is like so long in this video game. Every single time I went with the... By the way, I'm playing as Dolph Ziggler in this one. And I think this is on Legend. And on Epic, I think. I don't know, but yeah. Every single time I went for this taunt, John Cena interrupted it. It's just way too long. Even after I hit my, like, my finisher on John Cena in the video game. And then do the taunt or something like that. He gets up beforehand, before the taunt is over and just attacks me. So, uh, just a quick tip to you guys. If you're playing a match, especially online, you probably don't want to, you know, do that taunt. Because they're probably going to get up, you know, before you finish the taunt and attack you. So, uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, it all started when Vicky started accusing AJ and John Cena of having an affair. AJ is then no longer the, the GM. And then Vicky takes her place as, I don't know, it was like some weird uh, title or something like that. They're not even calling her the general manager. They're calling her something else. I'm not sure what, I don't know. I don't know when we're going to get, a, you know, an actual GM or if Vicky is going to be the actual GM. Not sure. But, uh, yeah, Dolph Ziggler started, you know, on top of Vicky accusing AJ, making fun of her and stuff like that. Dolph Ziggler got involved, and John Cena was kind of, like, sticking up for AJ. And, you know, uh, at some point, you had Dolph Ziggler and John Cena brawling backstage, and that was a cool moment. Because John Cena came up to, you know, well, AJ started beating up Dolph Ziggler, and John Cena just held back AJ, and then Dolph Ziggler started attacking John Cena. It was in the locker room, by the way. And then Dolph kind of, like, speared John Cena through the uh, the bathroom stall and, you know, taking out John Cena in the process. And, you know, at some, by the way, at some point during that that feud, when after John Cena, I think, uh, yeah, I think it was after John Cena kissed AJ or something like that, he got out of the ring. Uh, you know, got on the apron and then chased Dolph Ziggler, and once he got off the apron, it seemed like he was legit injured because he was, like, limping, but, uh, seems like, right now, it seems like it was all, you know, planned, or, you know, storyline, part of the storyline or whatever. I don't really recall exactly, you know, what happened every single week, just because I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the angle, not a big fan of the whole AJ thing. But, I will say, I am looking forward to this matchup. You know, I might, li I might not like the storyline, but Dolph Ziggler versus John Cena should be a great matchup, especially in this ladder match. Ladder match are usually some of the most entertaining matches uh, you can see. You know, it's, it's hard to find a ladder match that, like, sucks. That really, you know, is just terrible. Most ladder matches, actually, I think all the match, all the ladder matches I've seen, I've enjoyed watching. You know, some obviously are better than others, but I've never watched a ladder match and been like, okay, this match is terrible, unwatchable. I don't want to see this crap. No, nah, <laughs> ladder match, like, I don't know, ninety percent of the time, or for me, you know, for the ones I've watched, they've been entertaining. So uh, yeah, should be this one should be equally as. Well, what am I talking about equally? But no, it should be entertaining as well. Especially involving Dolph Ziggler and John Cena when it comes to, you know, these big, big matches. He also delivers. So, uh, yeah, I'm really... By the way, do you guys like my, uh, you know, superstar threads or whatever? I 
updated John Cena's ad sire. This is what he wears now. He wears like these uh, beige shorts. Is that how you say? It? You know, I'm from I'm from Quebec here. You know, uh, I live in Quebec, so uh, when I say beige, I usually say, say it in French. Uh, I've never really had to say it in English ever, so hopefully that's that's how you say it. So if if, if that's not how you say it, feel free to correct me in the comment section. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, in French, that's pretty much how you say it. Well, actually, in French, you say it beige. Well, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> so, and Dolph Ziggler, I just gave him, you know, a black ad sire. And the logos, I just turned them um, white or silver, which is pretty much uh, what he's been wearing recently. Obviously, it's not the same logos he has now, because right now, I think on his uh, trunks, it says show off. But in the video game, his logos, I think, says say DZ or something like that, Dolph Ziggler or something like that. But uh, yeah, I think Dolph, uh, John Cena's ad sorry, I think I did a pretty good job on that. You know, I'm too lazy to create created characters, you know, superstar created characters because there's community creations, but there's no, you know, there's no actual superstar threads on community creations. You can't download superstar threads, so I create them myself and I actually enjoy doing it. Anyways, enough about that. Let's actually talk about this this feud or this this matchup. First of all, <laughs> you know, while I am looking forward to this matchup, I'll definitely be paying attention, and you know, probably it'll probably be an enjoyable matchup. It's uh, it's a matchup like I I wouldn't be disappointed if it didn't happen because you know there's always that possibility that John Cena could win this matchup. And I don't want to see that happen. I want Dolph Ziggler to keep that Money in the Bank briefcase. I want Dolph Ziggler as Mr. Money in the Bank. He won it on Money in the Bank, and he should keep it. You know, John Cena won the Raw Money in the Bank briefcase, or the WWE Championship Money in the Bank briefcase. You know, he got his shot and all that, so I don't think he should win this briefcase as well. That means, you know, uh, John Cena won both the WWE Championship Money in the Bank uh, briefcase, you know, I at Money in the Bank, and then he also won. He wins the World Heavyweight Championship one later on, so he's the holder or held both of them, and used both of them. Uh, I feel Dolph Ziggler should be the one to cash in this briefcase. Uh, really, John Cena, he doesn't need the briefcase, and I know I made a Rock versus John Cena title unification video talking about how John Cena could win the briefcase at TLC and then cash it in against the Big Show, the same guy that cost him his title shot when he used his WWE Championship Money in the Bank briefcase. So he could cash, you know, the Money in the Bank briefcase he wins on the Big Show, take the championship away for him, from him, so John Cena is the world champion. And then he faces The Rock at WrestleMania, who would be the WWE champion at that time in a title unification match, both titles on the line. And the winner basically, you know, cat has both titles in the end. Well, I did make that video. That's not the the most likely scenario I could see. And also, I really hope that scenario doesn't happen, just because I don't want Dolph Ziggler. I mean, I don't want John Cena to win the briefcase and Dolph Ziggler to lose it. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put in the annotation right now, so you can click and check that video. It's basically a possible scenario I could see happening, but it's. Not that, like, like I said, it's not the most likely scenario I see happening. Actually, it's the least likely one, but it's a possibility nonetheless. Maybe just a slight possibility, but whatever. So, yeah, I hope Dolph Ziggler doesn't lose the briefcase, and I also think he won't lose the briefcase. But like I said, anything can happen, especially when it involves John Cena. And back to what I was saying a few moments ago, John Cena doesn't need to win the briefcase. You know, the guy could get a title shot really any other way. He's a top star, and John, he could, he could win the Elimination Chamber uh, for a number one contendership shot at, you know, the championship, at the W Championship, you know, for WrestleMania. Or maybe the Elimination Chamber match is going to be for the W Championship. And if The Rock is involved, let's say The Rock wins the championship off CM Punk at the Rumble, and then he defends it, you know, at the Elimination Chamber. In an Elimination Chamber match, John Cena could be in that matchup and win the WWE Championship, you know, that night. And then they could face off, you know, at WrestleMania with the Rock getting a rematch. So, really, John Cena, the briefcase, I don't see any point in that. <laughs> As you can see, I do the tom once again. And John Cena gets up, you know, kicks me. 
you know, so yeah, John Cena could get the title shot any other way. He doesn't need the briefcase, and that's really the biggest reason why I don't want to see John Cena winning this. Because he simply doesn't need the briefcase as much as Dolph Ziggler does. Now, Dolph Ziggler, you know, he could also win the Elimination Chamber or something like that to, you know, get his number one contendership. But I doubt that's going to happen. I don't see Dolph Ziggler as being the one to, you know, win the Elimination Chamber or something like that. I see him more as the guy that, you know, is going to take advantage of an opportunity, you know, use that Money in the Bank briefcase when his opponent is you know, at his, at his weakest or whatever, and win the championship that way. Oh yeah, and also, something I'd like to point out, I could actually see AJ um, getting involved in the matchup, but if she does get involved, I could see her costing John Cena in the match, actually. Whether it be on purpose or not, I could see her maybe accidentally, you know, uh, helping Dolph Ziggler win the matchup, Maybe, you know, screwing something up or distracting John Cena on accident and that causes Dolph Ziggler to win or maybe on purpose. Maybe she turns on John Cena, turns heel and helps Dolph Ziggler win. But actually, when I think about it right now, you know, I personally think that AJ is going to challenge for the Divas Championship at WrestleMania against Eve. So when I think about that, I don't think she would do it as a heel. So thinking about it right now, actually, I don't think AJ is going to get involved and cost John Cena the matchup. If she does cost him the matchup, then I think it's probably going to be on accident. The most likely scenario that I could see happening is John Cena makes a big mistake in the matchup towards the end, and that mistake allows Dolph Ziggler to win the matchup and grab the briefcase. So anyways, that's it for my prediction. I'm still sticking with Dolph winning the matchup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you can click that like button. I really appreciate it. With that said, I'm out, guys. See ya.